anti-immigration movement have staged their first rally in the British capital in response. Anti-racist activists have taken to the streets for a counter-protest of their own. Let's cross to RT's Harry Fear to get more details on this. Now, and as we can quite clearly see, and here, Harry, you're right in the thick of it there. What's the, uh, the situation there where you are at the moment? Well, welcome to an absolutely electrified and tense situation. In the last hour or two, we've already seen clashes uh, with police by various different elements of all the protesters here today and a number of arrests as well. Let me just show you now. Here are the uh, tens of Pegida UK activists. Their message today is one against her. Uh, they say uh, radical Islam and also uh, too much mass immigration here in the UK. Uh, they've been fairly much contained by the British police. Now, far over here, are the United Against Fascist protests behind that line of police trucks. And here, just uh, in front of us now, is also a contingent of the black bloc element of those anti-fascists as well. We've seen uh, sound uh, bombs go off and uh, smoke grenades this afternoon. Now, what is all of this about? Well, a while ago, I spoke to one of the leaders of Pegida in the UK. This is what they had to say. We're an awareness campaign that are basically, we're patriots against the Islamization of the West and that basically means that we value our British culture and our values and that's how we want to live. We don't want an evil ideology coming here and telling us how to live. We're just, we're not, we're not racist. We would say that we have heard time and time again that groups are talking about being um, against migrants and against the Muslim community in different ways. And what that ends up doing is uh, consolidating and codifying what were traditional forms of racism and hatred against new communities because somehow it's acceptable to do that. Well, these protests have totally shut down this part of central London. Just down the road there is the British Parliament, and just over here to my right is uh, Downing Street, the Prime Minister's uh, premises. We'll keep you updated from the ground, but it feels right now that really anything could kick off at any moment. <laughs> I come from Germany and I'm an ex-Muslim. I wrote a book, Islam doesn't belong to Germany and Islam doesn't belong to Europe.
and the future of Islam belongs to England actually. That's me. They want, they are telling you the future of England is belong to Islam. So they want to keep you all from the from your country actually. If they have such a connotation, if they radicalize you and tell you it's a question of time to kick you out, then I say our politics should change the system and such a thought cannot be accepted in this democracy country. Now, why are 40% people? They are talking to kick out British people from their country. I tell you why. Because they are trained from the mosque, they are trained by the parents, and this kind of violent teaching must be stopped. Otherwise, I tell you, it's going to be too late for you. This was all there in Islam to make you fear, fear, violent. And Islam, 1500 years, using force to take culture and tradition. But now, enough is enough. You must stand strong and say no to Islam. Oh, yeah. 